So hi there, still uh, still here in Moscow, enjoying the sunshine today, believe it or not. Um, listen, I was thinking uh, about why a lot of actors, aspiring actors or professional actors, have a problem acting. And um, it's probably my life's work actually, that, that question, why do actors have a problem acting? You might say, well, they don't have a problem acting. Well, I beg to differ. I think a lot of actors do have a problem acting. In fact, to the point where they, they, they don't really want to act, the acting becomes a very stressful and uncomfortable um, sort of activity for them. I mean, I saw this article actually um, the other day um, with Phoebe Waller-Bridge and she said that when she was at drama school, she really came to a realization that she thought she was really bad at acting. You know, and she realized she thought she was terrible. And she said, part of the reason that I thought I was terrible was um, I was always trying to please the teacher. I was always trying to get it right um, and, and do it the right way. And, and I totally get that. I remember going to drama school and having the exact same feeling about trying to get it right. And um, you know what, I'll be honest, you know, probably when I first started teaching, you know, I saw that in students. I saw the fear, if you like, about like, you know, them thinking, shit, I've got to get this right, and if I don't get it right, it's the end of the world, right? However, I guess over the years of, of, of training actors and working with actors, uh, I've continued to, to look at what is it that can make an actor's work expressive, emotional, powerful, and, this is an important point, enjoyable. It shouldn't be a case of, you know, uh, thinking, God, I've got to go and act. It should be a case of, I can't wait to go and act and I know how to do it. I know how to enjoy it. I know how to express myself freely. Um, and that's part of the reason why I'm here, actually, in Russia, is that, you know, I'm, I'm continuing to um, explore. There's some Russian dudes in the background there thinking, what the hell is he doing? What's going on? Um, and and develop my, my approaches and techniques. And um, that's a lifelong work for me, it never stops. Because, you know, I, I'm constantly thinking about how do I get my students better? How do I improve their work? Um, and, um, and like anything, you know, if you're in martial arts or you're a musician or you're, um, you know, doing sports, it's like, it's, you, you just continue to evolve your practice and the ways of working your techniques. And if you don't do that, you know, you, your work is going to kind of become stale and, and dead in the end. So it's really important that you find the right techniques, techniques that support you in being a creative artist, that support your work and allow you to be free and enjoy the work. If it's like pulling teeth, man, it's like, what's the point? Go and work in an office, it'd be easier, right? It's like, you know, the whole reason that we're in the acting industry is it is enjoyable, it's fun, and it should be, it's a creative process. So anyway, that's my thought for the day. Um, so there you have it. I'm gonna go off and have some lunch and uh, take, uh, take in some of the sites before doing some more research, so I'll see you soon.